really strong, strong smell of urine. Now, so is that when you turn the air conditioning yes. on? So they've infiltrated in your duct system. Back there, you can see all the way back toward the back, and, yeah. and, and there's a hole somewhere over here on the drywall system. Okay, okay. I even put like um, rat traps sideways and, and down into underneath this area. Okay. We paid once. I know that we're gonna continue paying and getting the same results. Yeah. Nothing. So might as well go to the masters and, and, oh, and I appreciate that. And, and, and just be we'll figure it out. Be done with it. Alrighty, well All right. let's get to work. Leave it to the professionals. We gotta get up on that top top roof here, so we have to take two ladders up there. No, no way to get over there with the with the solar panel. We gotta focus on that, David. This one over here, yeah. yes. Got him right on the edge of this roof. Man. Careful, David. Careful, guys. Careful, guys. Careful. I'd rather be in a very tight, dirty crawl space than on the second floor. I'm more scared of heights than I am claustrophobic. Careful, David. No, Jim. Dang it. All right, so we have no access into the attic, so we're gonna have to create our own access. So let's go down there and get the team started. Once we make an incision and we have full access into the attic, that's when we're gonna begin our smoke test. I didn't even know there's like a, a, a company that does this type of stuff, you know? Oh, wow. So, so you found us online? And... Yeah, we were just on YouTube, you know? And, okay. and uh, came across you guys. So. I appreciate you having us out, man. Yeah, man. We don't have a, a big problem. It doesn't It doesn't seem like it, right? Mm, but you're but it's gonna escalate. Escalate to that. Right, right. and eventually, we're gonna continue paying and paying and paying. It's gonna add up to the amount that yeah. that you're gonna charge us, and then we're gonna to have to call you guys, and then That's now it. we pay double. We see that all the time. You know, yes, I feel so. bad for these people. They've been paying for a year or two, yeah, and the problem's not Hasn't solved. Been solved. A lot of people aren't understanding the difference between pest control versus a true rat exterminator. Pest control comes out and tries to control the rat population by setting some traps and some poison. A professional rat exterminator doesn't even set traps yet until we find the entry point. Right. Once that's been identified, then you place the traps. Right. We know what we're doing. We're gonna open up right there and then do the smoke because this is the, this the is the spot. hot spot right here. This is what a rat extermination company should be doing. Hiring a pest controller, they're never gonna go to this level, ever. So as you search, search for a rat exterminator, not a pest controller, guys. All right, let's look inside this cabinet. Let's see what we have. So there's a pipe, a half inch pipe. I see a hole right there between the plumbing and the wood. You see it right there, guys? Oh, look at it, it's got a string right here. Hmm, took the bait. Looks like I got jammed up. Give the man an A for effort. All right, so we've got the containment up. We are ready to make an incision. It's time for surgery. So you locked it in to go into the attic today, Brian? Yep, on the skinny ones, I'll fit in front perfectly. Nice. You didn't eat breakfast, right? You kept it clean? I didn't eat breakfast, no. It's the most important meal of the day. So we're gonna leave the vacuum just like this, so as we're cutting, that dust is gonna get sucked up right into our HEPA filter here. So what's your prediction, sewer or roof? I think they're roof rats, to be honest, yeah. And Anthony? I'm pretty sure they're gonna be roof. Roof? Okay. Yeah. Did you get your workout done today? Uh, I wish. Uh, I woke up late. I'm slacking. I'm would, slacking today. Would it be leg day or uh, chest day, biceps? Probably chest. Uh, chest. chest. Okay. I'm feeling good chest day. Can you do the um, la cucaracha with your chest? Watch. Oh. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, no puede caminar. <laughs> Impressive. 
All right, smoke is on. Let's insert the camera behind that cabinet and see if we're getting any smoke. I'm seeing some smoke right here, you guys. Tell if it's coming from that toilet. I don't, I don't think it's coming from this toilet. Oh, very peculiar. Oh, this is what the attic looked like. Very dusty. Look at that. All that dust coming right through these vents, ruining this insulation. There's only a few rat droppings up here. Well, it looks like it's going to be the roof rat that we have to focus on. All right, looks like Jimmy's on to something. What are you looking at, Jim? I found, uh, I was exploring this area here and I found the waterproofing paper completely chewed and I could see wood inside. So I'm gonna lift this flashing up. Yeah, look at that right there. No way, really? Oh, right there by that waste pipe, David. Look at this. Look at that hole right there. It goes right under that vanity. Yeah, they chewed oh, through there. Shoot. How big is it? How does it go to go to the right too? Yeah, let me uh, let's slide this out. Oh gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Right into the vanity. Look at that drywall right there. They chewed through the drywall to get in. We saw it and we found it. The vent pipe is just sucking it up and trying to take it out there that way. Yeah. However, the vent doesn't actually reach outside the, the wall. Bathroom ventilation fan is, the duct system is terminating into the attic. So that's why we were getting a bunch of smoke, giving us a false alarm that there might have been the sewer rat, but this is it right here, you guys. Especially with all of the activity right here, and inspecting that attic area, no signs of any major rat infestation there. It's all coming from here, although they have gotten in the attic area. But this is it right here. So we have this flashing here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flashing here and pack it up in and then secure it onto the roof. All right, while the guys are installing the exclusion work, we're gonna get Anthony to use the Twinzyme and sanitize and treat that entire duct system. They're gonna go out for about 20, 30 minutes while we do this, try to get rid of that smell when the summertime comes around. Mm. Twinzyme smells amazing, I'm not just saying that. be in touch okay and if we've got to come back we got to come back. oh yeah absolutely okay. all right now that we've got that under control we're headed to solve a mystery sewer odor that no one has been able to solve but along the way we're going to pick up a special guest man of my life the guy that made this happen for my twin brother and i so let's go this is where all the memories happen when we were kids I used to mow this grass right here. This house was built in the 70s. My parents built this in the early 70s for $36,000. Can you believe it? $36,000. All right, here's our backyard. Remember a lot of football games back here. This is our bedroom here. All right, so there's three of us, three, three brothers. We all slept in this one bedroom here. In fact, that window there has been broken many times from us throwing shoes at each other. Amazing memories here, you guys. Oh, and this is a five acre orchard. We used to come here, there used to be cherry trees, peach trees, and we used to pick our cherries and peaches and go around the neighborhood and sell them. One of the best memories we've had. And just heads up, my dad just had a stroke about three months ago. It affected his memory, so he isn't all there. I gotta get him out of this house. He's been stuck here for the last couple of months. He needs to get out, so I'm gonna take him out and, uh, Put them to work. You ready? Let's do it. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Come on in. Pleasure meeting Pleasure you. Meet you too. Thanks for having me. Sure. 
Yeah, it's been since safety enough, I think. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's usually worse. Stout. You know, it smells like a, more of a dead animal smell. Been that way for a, a year. Oh, it has? On and off. On and off for a year. On okay. and off for a year since we bought the house. God, it's weird. I'm not getting a sewer odor smell. It's more oh. of a... Of a dead, dead animal smell. Oh. Got some droppings here. I don't know. Yeah, this is sounds, seems like more of a rodent issue than anything else. Inspector did note in the inspection report that there there was active or there was there was signs of previous or existing you know existing dropping. Okay, he bought this house a year ago. He had an inspection. As I tell you right now, the previous owners. This is why I asked if they disclosed that they had a rodent issue because. Pest controller came up here and did this work right here. Definitely indication that they did have a rodent problem before this guy bought this house. So anyways, we're gonna run the micro camera down here, a few of these other vents to see if we could see any breaks. I ran the camera debris there. right there. It's kind of hard to see with feet over. Ton of debris room. here, you guys. I smell the vent. It smells exactly like the inside of that bathroom. So we're on to something, you guys. The question is, what is it? Let's figure it out then. This is the view. This is where I started right out of high school. My dad did hundreds and hundreds of houses out here. So if there is a broken sewer pipe, it's out of warranty, guys. It's out of warranty. This could be a plumber's problem here. A lot of times in these track houses, we find that plumbers didn't glue a fitting or sewer rats here are very, very aggressive in the desert. So they could be chewing through this sewer pipe right here underground. I smelled that one. It smells regular like sewer. Smell this one over here. It smells just like that bathroom. That animal smell. Oh, now we're on to something. We'll pump smoke here. See if we get any smoke coming out of that bathroom. Oh. And that'll determine if there's a breach in that sewer pipe. Okay, so what we've done is we've cut this escutcheon off so we can gain access into this wall. So we're gonna run a camera just to do an inspection in here, see if we can find anything suspicious. There it is, yep, there it is. There's where the odor is coming from, right there. Look at that. Look at this. See all that? That's a rat nest there, you guys. That's all rat droppings and insulation. And right here is the cause of the smell. But the question is, how are these rats getting inside of this structure? So dad, I took, made a hole right here. Mm -hmm. Cause this area, just getting a lot of the smell. Open this up, check it out. See a rat nest? Oh, See all yeah. the rat droppings? Yeah. Look at that. That's all nesting material there. Oh, look at that. The See rats it? have brought it in. Yep. Massive amount of rat droppings. Look at that. All right, so Brian, you're gonna, you go outside, run the smoke machine. I'm gonna crawl in this tight area here. Enrique, you're in the other attic area. Okay. And then my dad's gonna be right here where this lab is, okay? Okay. So you might see smoke in here too, dad. Okay. Or coming out of the wall. So just check here and here. Okay. Getting a ton of smoke here. Oh, right here, brother. Yep, I forgot to. I must forgot to glue this. Tell him to turn the smoke on again. I can see. They're sitting up here chewing the insulation. Yeah, we're lucky because this is pet's piping. Get in here, trace out how they're getting down that wall. Yep, right over here, right where the tunnel is. 
Huh. Now we're gonna have to open up the wall. I thought they were traveling back and forth up this wall, but there's no way. All right, let's get back down. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the back side of this lavatory here. Here, we can actually access and do all the sanitization and cleanup versus tearing all this out. It'd be very, very costly. Smart move. off. Turn it off. Yeah, just cap that off and then redo the redo the smoke I guess. Thousands of lab droppings right here. Mm -hmm. that way too, Dave. Where? Oh, this yeah. way? Yeah. Look that. Yeah. Pull all pull all this insulation okay. out. But let's get a drill motor. <laughs> Wide open. Wow. Okay, so we got the new pipe coming through. We'll get a cap for that. I like the footers. Let them get the tension on them. Well, there you have it, another rodent issue solved. It's gonna be interesting to see if there's any rats inside of that wall. But so far, both of these jobs are under control. We found their entry points. Just love what I do, guys. Just amazing. David, this deserves the rat dance. You know what, Brian? It deserves the rat dance. The twins do it again. Another successful wrecked extermination job solved. We will see you in the next one.